안녕하세요. Hello, welcome back to Korean Daily Drill Session. In this video, we are going to practice more about Korean double consonant sounds. Do you remember that Korean consonants can be categorized into several families and inside each family, the composing members can be laid from left to right according to the strength of carrying sound? Let me remind you of this nature by bringing exemplary words. Focus on how sounds get stronger or rougher as my reading progresses. Okay, the first B family example. Paparoti. 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 Do you find the similarity and the difference among them at the same time? The second G family example. Kakarot. 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 Now, here we have J family example. Cho cho. Cho cho. Cho cho. Cho cho. Cho cho. Cho cho. Finally, we have S family example. So so hada. So so hada. So so hada. So so hada. Last words in all four example sets are made up with double consonants, and as you can definitely feel, Korean double consonants make very rough sounds. These sounds are similar to Spanish and Italian consonants. In order to properly pronounce them, we need to practice again and again. I denote their sounds as English alphabets followed by exclamation mark. The exclamation mark indicates that it's actually a little stronger than its original sound. Okay, let's practice. Listen and repeat after me. Suregi. Kwang. Tukpegi. Pororo. Kul. Kokiri. Kuda. Tubi. Tangkong. Siya. Opa. Jajangmyon. Jolmyon. Jada. Kungja. Suregi. Kwang. Tukpegi. Pororo. Kul. Kokiri. Kuda. Tubi. Tangkong. Siyat. Opa. Jajangmyon. Jolmyon. Jada. Plus note that double consonants are rarely used as bachim. Double S is used as bachim in order to express a past tense. For example, hetta, kasoyu. That's it for today's session. Thank you for watching and see you in the next drill. Tamibayo!